Hello, this is Ibrahim, and in this video I'm going to talk about converting images between basically two primary formats, JPEG and PNGs. We've seen in the previous videos how to actually read an image and save an image, as well as videos and stuff. In this video we shall look at, um, say for example we have a JPEG image and we want to convert it to PNG or uh, the other way around. Uh, luckily in OpenCV, of course there are other approaches you could utilize, but in this video we're talking about OpenCV and that's why I'm demonstrating this example. Um, just so you know it's out there. Uh, it may not be necessarily the best option to use to converting images that are better in compression algorithms out there uh, implemented in uh, <clears throat> sorry implemented in imaging software like uh, they are even are available open source like GIMP and stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, just for the sake of these videos, uh, which is basically getting familiar with OpenCV, let's see how is that done. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so uh, the thing is very simple. Um, okay, so I have an image ready, and it's called Pond. That is the image. So this is the image. It's in JPEG, and I'm going to convert it to PNGs. So the size may uh, grow larger, may shrink. It depends on the type of image, and as well as the uh, conversion and the uh, uh, sorry and the compression algorithms available. Again, OpenCV may not be the best option if you want to compress images and stuff, but uh, it can it can go by. Anyways, so as usual, we import CV2, and uh, that's all we need. Uh, let's take a look back at the documentation of OpenCV, and we can see here that this is the image write which basically saves an image to a specific file. It takes in two required uh, parameters, file name and the image that you want to convert and optional parameters. In the parameters you have several options of them. Basically the primary uh, if you want to, to save it as a JPEG or save it as a PNG. And we can also use this to convert between images uh, so this is quite neat. So it takes this, it takes in parameters uh, it takes in the uh, the flag as well as the quality for that given flag. Anyways, so uh, this is usually a list. Uh, it can be parameters is a kind of a list of options of these options. So let's go and implement that. Since it's a list, let's uh, we have two options, but let's go ahead and maybe define parameters. Oh, you know what? Let's not do this just yet. Let's go directly and load the image. So IMG equals, and we have seen this in the previous videos, uh, how to to load an image using IM read. And since mine is called pond, I'm just going to load it pond as JPEG and close parentheses like that. And that's it. So we have the image ready, and now we're going to save the image in the format that we desire. In this case, we want to save it. Let's start with saving it as a PNG. And so I'm going to, I am right, we've seen this in the previous videos as well. So the name of the image that I want to save it, let's save it pond underscore converted dot png, since this is the format that we want to, this ex type of extension that we want to save it in. And we're taking the original image, basically img. Now the parameters, you can either specify them as a list here, or you can create a list and keep more and just import the list here now for this purpose let's just do this and so it's called cv2 the so we've seen the documentation what it's called as so we're using the cv2 library we can so this is the name i am right jpeg quality and this is the 2.4 documentation so uh keep that in mind uh and this is not the way you do it in three this is basically the old uh ipi or the old implementation Anyway, so but this is basically is the same. So I'm going to use I am right PNG compression. Let me just copy and paste it here, like that, and supply in the quality nine being the most compressed and one uh, mean nothing. Full compression is nine and zero is basically sorry one is no compression at all. So uh, let's go and do that and let's run this save and run. Put this here five. And um, we seem, I think it's best that we add some printouts here just to see how the things are progressing. And we can see that the result here, this is the 
font converted it's actually larger in size than the original one and this is the image uh, let's add a little more text here let's print and uh, for the second try let's try to instead of PNG compression let's do JPEG quality JPEG, JPEG PG quality and let's just verify that the flag is actually uh, is actually it let's, let me consult the documentation again I'm going to JPEG quality and takes parameters from 0 to 100 and let's do maybe like 10 I don't think it's for this image it will show but let's go ahead and run this so converting image and finished and this is the converted image is actually larger in size than the PNGs and uh, we can see here that the extension we did not change the extension so it's the way it was but uh, you can change that it's very simple just it's just simply a text but the format itself the original format underneath is actually PNG com PNG algorithm com kind of uh, compression or format anyways so uh, that's basically about it and uh, I hope this is helpful uh, you can add more features to this and in the next videos we'll see how to make this an executable or let me or rephrase the word basically make it a console application where you simply add the commands and the user will output it in this video so stay tuned for the next video and hope for, I hope this was helpful feel free to check out my previous videos as well and uh, yeah, if you have any feedback or comments that uh, these things can be enhanced, these uh, videos could be enhanced, feel free to drop the feedback in the comments and I'll be happy to, uh, uh, to consider them. Thank you for following and have a good day.